What's up Xiaomi fans, Christian here, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're gonna do an unboxing on this Redmi Note 10, which is the entry-level model on the Redmi Note 10 series. But it's not a basic phone, it still has a good kick on it. We're gonna do a setup and a quick unboxing, but a review video will follow in a couple of days. I just received this today, so I'm pretty hyped on this phone. Let's get started. And this phone has just started selling today in the Xiaomi UK website. You can check out the link in the description below. So the phone itself is not wrapped in plastic. It just has this seal on the side. So we're gonna open it. Okay. All right. Okay, so first thing we have here is, okay, we have the uh, SIM ejector pin. Also, we have the quick start guide and the warranty card and there is also a case that comes with it okay and below that we have the Redmi Note 10 phone it's wrapped in plastic with its uh, key features printed on it and below that we have the type C to USB A cable and also we have the power adapter the power adapter is a 22.5 watts. Now we're gonna explore the exterior of this Redmi Note 10. So let's remove the plastic first. Wow, it's pretty cute actually with its lenses. I like the design, I like the color. So let's see. All right, the front is a flat screen. There is already a screen protector pasted on it. From the back, it has the triple rear camera and I do love this color. This is a graphite gray. There are like three other colors that comes with this model. And also the camera panel, there's that uh, flash and also I believe there is a sensor on it. And the main shooter is a 48 megapixel uh, camera lens. And on the side, we have the volume buttons and also the fingerprint scanner. So this is also the power button and at the bottom, we'll have the speaker, we have the Type-C port, and we also have the microphone. And on the other side, we have the SIM tray. And for its SIM tray, it is hybrid, so which means you can actually put two nano SIM cards or you can put one nano SIM and a micro SD card. And by the way, this phone supports dual 5G standby. And at the top, you can find the 3.5 mm jack, the microphone, and the IR blaster. Now I'm gonna do a setup on this. This phone is pre-installed with the MIUI 12 and Android 11. Looking at the screen, you'll see that the bezel at the bottom is actually quite thick and the top is slightly thicker as well. But the more obvious thing is that camera dot over there, which is larger compared to the Redmi Note 10 Pro. All right, let's take a quick look on its specs. All right, for storage and the RAM, what I have here is a four gig RAM and 128 gigabyte memory. But there's also a 4 gig RAM and 64 gig memory. You can check on the link in the description below if you want to check the pricing. And this is an LPDDR4X RAM with a UFS of 2.2 storage. This one is pretty light, which is only 190 grams. And looking at the screen, it may seem small, but it is already a 6.5 inches Full HD Plus dot display, but the dot is larger compared to that Redmi Note 10 Pro. The screen resolution is 2400 by 1080 with a refresh rate of 90 Hertz. And it is an adaptive sync display, which would depend on what you use on the phone. So it will just adjust the refresh rate automatically. It also comes with the reading mode, also has the 360 ambient light sensors. And as for its processor, it's a MediaTek Dimensity 700 with a seven nanometer processor. And for its battery life, it's 5,000 milliamp hour and supports 18 watts fast charging. From the back, we have the 48 megapixel main shooter, which is f1.79. And there's also a two megapixel macro camera with an aperture of 2.4, and also a two megapixel depth sensor with an aperture of 2.4. And the front camera is an eight megapixel with an aperture of 2.0. Looking at the front, it might seem very basic, but when you look at the back, I like the camera panel, I like the design, and also the color. Let me know what you think, and if you are interested to see this video and my full review for the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit on the bell notification icon so you get notified once I upload that video, and I'll see you on the next one.